I'm Jennifer Angel, this is Star Scorpio. Okay, so for you this week, firstly, there's a very, very nice connection between Venus, which sits in your solar seven house of love and partnerships, and uh, Neptune, the planet of romance, also fantasy, but let's say um, romance and inspiration and uh, imagination, uh, which is sitting in your solar seventh, uh, fifth house. So um, another uh, personal, uh, social or entertainment type um, position where you can just stumble across the love of your life in that in this area. So uh, it's all pointing to areas of the heart. Now, um, if not so in your life, then it, it certainly indicates that there's a very nice social time coming up for you. But let's go back to the more romantic sector of your life. I mean, if you're looking for love, then certainly you can, you know, come across somebody who gets your attention this week. If you're already in the arms of the love of your life, then uh, this is a week that you could be even renewing your vows or making a commitment to each other. Okay, but there is a warning here that it is one of those aspects where you can actually fall in love with love, which is which is lovely because it's just, you know, it's such a beautiful time to be in love like that. But um, and I'm sorry to have to put a butt in here, but you really want to sort of look, uh, you know, get your head out of the clouds for a little while as well and try to get some balance in your life and put your feet firmly on the ground and start looking at uh, a partnership um, in the way that is it going to provide you other areas of compatibility and friendship and support um, throughout your life as well. I mean, as, I, as I've said many times, relationships are built up as scenarios that support and challenges and both are necessary in our life to move forward with. So, um, and for us to be able to grow and learn from and develop as as people and be, just become a better than we are. So, um, although it's lovely to be in that situation where it's just glorious, um, uh, you want to sort of look a little bit further as well. So that's just, just something to think about there. Now there's a very, very positive um, connection uh, coming up next week which we'll talk more about next week, uh, but it's to do with Venus and Jupiter both being in the same sign, Taurus, which is in your solar seventh house of love and partnerships. So uh, this is going to affect uh, each and every sign on a, a, a different level or a different area of their life and it's, it's a very positive aspect. So um, enjoy that and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.